The following is a production of New Mexico State University. Dan Johnson is giving us a tour of the prairie collection. This is a very beautiful area. Yes, this is a garden that was established about 20 years ago now. It's a plains garden, tribute to what Denver used to look like probably about 100 years ago. And even more recently than that, they're still developing prairies. So it's kind of an endangered habitat in some ways. And this is uh, about five different kinds of prairie represented, probably about 200 or more different kinds of grasses and wildflowers that would have been native to this area and still are out in the rural areas. That's a striking wildflower right there. This is a calalophus. It's in the evening primrose family, which a lot of people are familiar with. You know, from the prairie to the desert, the zinnia, this zinnia, does really well, zinnia grandiflora. Mm -hmm. And I've it's, seen it in really harsh environments. It's a very tough little plant. Um, it does grow almost anywhere, as long as it's well-drained. It really prefers to be on the dry side. It slowly spreads from little underground runners that pop up, makes a nice ground cover. And it has color all summer. Um, it's really one of several that thrive in these short grasses. And I noticed right over here is an Indian paintbrush. That's one that grows all over the place. Mm -hmm. We've have, it's a little trouble it's a little trickier to get established in here because it is thought to be partially parasitic on grasses and sages. But once you get it going, it's very drought tolerant. It's a beautiful wildflower and it does have color all summer long. You've got a lot of good options here for a prairie garden type lawn. I noticed the cone flowers. They're one of my favorite. Let's go take a look at that. You know, I like the cone flowers because they're a sure thing. They're just going to grow and bloom no matter what. Everybody loves the comb flowers. The yellow form and the mahogany form both do equally well. Mm -hmm. And they're widespread over the plains. One of our really great natives that are popular in gardens. I see other yellow flowers mm -hmm. in here as well. Yellow, yellow is a popular color. We get a, a lot of butterflies and things attracted to yellow. Mm -hmm. And the little golden aster is a really good one. Also recedes a little bit, so prepare for more of them. Here's one I have, don't recognize. This is an Engelmann daisy. It's native to the southern Great Plains. And all of this has been just thriving, even this year in a drought year, without any supplemental water. So these are plants which grow in a 15-inch rainfall area with no extra water. Pretty much even less rain than that this year. Well, Dan, thank you very much. Sure, no problem. Thanks for coming by. The preceding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.